Behind the scenes of Paradise works a small army packaging lifelines for hurricane victims. Do my part, I mean, yeah, basically help. I mean, it's my country, so. There's nothing like giving someone in need a plate of food. World Central Kitchen, Chef Jose Andres' organization, has been in Nassau since before the storm. We arranged, you know, helicopters, boats. These are from, from the helicopters. Sophia's among the central staff here. So we have a team right now in Marsh Harbor. Two deliveries a day at both lunch and dinner. One stays in Nassau. Shelters all throughout the island that we uh, feed every day. Another heads for Abaco. There's no roads, so they're literally chopping down trees on their way to get there. They're, the streets are filled with mud. Um, there are no houses left. It's just a complete and utter mess. One that could get worse. Today we did like uh, over a thousand sandwiches because we knew we wouldn't be able to get bring hot food because of the tropical storm. For now, the team has to keep things local, at least until the storm passes. Caribbean stir -fruit. Yes. <laughs> this is only possible with a kitchen. We try one together. It's a really big area, so. Tyrone is a chef here at the Atlantis Hotel. Buffets, we do up to four to 5,000. Like so many people, he feels the impact of Dorian personally. So I have family in Freeport, friends in Abaco, and most of the family, they lost everything, but still living, so that's the most important thing, because they're gonna rebuild. It's always been amazing to see the communities really step up and come together. Even volunteering here to help a paradise destroyed. As long as the need is there, 